Hi, my name is Davide Duzzi, address is Ivan Stakov from Maya. See that I want to show you what it's Millennium uh, uh, Pro 3.0. Millennium Pro 3.0 is a plugin that lets you uh, have an alternative way, alternative workflow inside of Maya. Uh, first of all, how you can install it. Um, the first thing I, I do is uh, clear up my preferences. This is not a... Uh, you, you don't need to do that, of course. Uh, how you can uh, clear up your preferences, go inside your preference folder, delete 2018 folder or 2017 folder and, and, uh, and reset Maya. When you do that, you have a clean install. This is a clean install of Maya. So, uh, as you can see, this is the What's New Alex Settings uh, uh, window. This is a the, the choice you can have in this window and uh, <coughs> I want you add uh, to cheese installation uh, of Maya Menem Pro. Menem Pro is compatible with uh, my, my, uh, Maya 2018 and Maya 2017. So I won't close this window, I won't close Maya. This is very important, please close Maya before installing Menem Pro. After you have downloaded from the link below, you have this zip file the, that it's it. This is this file. This is the, it's its uh, contents. So you need to copy the version of Maya you 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 actually use. I'm using 2018, so I won't copy that. All right, everything is fine. And now I want to resign it to resolve my Maya. But why you need to close and reopen Maya? Because when you close Maya, it, it, it make a new check of the of the available plugins, and so you need to close it. After open up Maya, just uh, need to add uh, a single line of mail scripts. So, and I won't wait. Everything is set up inside of my Maya installation. So go here when you have mail scripts and write source. Sorry, source may nine punto dot mail. All right. When you go and uh, when you when you press enter, as you can see, Menem Pro is install, uh, installed and ready. So now I am inside Menem Pro. What you can do in Menem Pro, you can press Z, left mouse button, without any type of selection. You have uh, uh, the Maya window mark menu. From here, you can select uh, Viewer uh, preferences, UI elements, and so on and so forth. Or you can press Z, middle mouse button, and you have the whole mark menu. This marking menu lets you create and edit sheen and uh, go and select the, the kind of layout you want. So from here you have the control of the main components of Maya. And uh, it's not only that. For example, if I press Z, middle mouse go to button, go to north and uh, select cube, I create my cube. Now I can press my W, for example, for move the cube, everything is something like that. But look at this. If you press Z, left mouse button, now I have a contextual marking menu based on current selection. So based on the single mesh cube. But it's not only that. You press Ctrl and D and D and move this object around and now you can select two objects press the left mouse button again as you can see now you have a marking menu based on the different uh, based on multiple objects of the same type so two mesh two or more meshes uh, for example I can combine or if I select a single mesh Z, uh, Z left my boss and I can separate, separate the ports but uh, not only that you can uh, combine multiple type of objects for example if I Select the create a cube and I create some uh, joints, for example, Z, middle mouse button, select the rigging, create joint, single joint, I give enter and select the single joint. Of course, you have a, a, a kind of uh, a type of marking menu, but if you select the two elements, the two uh, uh, different type of uh, objects per Z, left mouse button, you have another kind of mark menu. So you can use a single selection, multiple selection of the same type, or uh, hybrid selection of multiple objects in the forever custom mark menu. But uh, not only that, uh, you can use some mark menu based on window. For example, if I create again a cube and go in the outliner. All right, I, I can uh, I must make even selection. The Z left mouse button. Now you can see I have this marking menu. This is a window marking menu. Uh, almost uh, all pr all main window uh, all main windows of Maya have uh, marking menu. For example, if you press Alt and two, 
now you can see here I have my node editor for Z left mouse button again I have another marking node based on this kind of selection right um, good I want to show you another little thing for example if I create a sphere I can create a cube now select uh, this mesh or look at this this is a cube mesh this is a sphere mesh if I select these two kind of nodes not not transform node man deck nodes I can press the left mouse button I have another kind again of marking menu for example for crack shape so now as you can see this connection is ready um, another thing you can do instead of my name pro is using Z as a, a contextual hotkey I won't show you immediately for example again I want to create a cube press F for focus on my cube now I can press Z left mouse button and of course you have your marking menu but if I press Z and release I have contextual hotkey so you can see now I can select my component mode so if I press Z again and release I have come back into, component, into object mode a toggle inside in and out object mode but this works uh, on the window 2 for example if I press Alt and 2 go again inside of the node editor layout and for example I select an object like this and press Z and release as you can see I have my uh, the ability to rearrange and focus the mark the the window of uh, of node editor so <coughs> just for a recap you can select a single selection forever market menu multiple selection for a market menu based on multiple selection window market menu and contextual key on object or on windows but it's not only that for example if I create a cube and I create a smooth and give some kind of smooth for example you can have the ability to uh, have two smart menu I want to show you Z left mouse button, go to brushes, select sculpt geometry now sculpt geometry tool is supported so Z middle mouse button and now you have the ability to select the kind of uh, of, uh, of brush you want this uh, disable temporary the old marking menu for come back to old marking menu press Q so Q close every tools Z middle mouse, middle mouse button you have again your uh, marking menu, your old marking menu. Um, another kind of type elements you have inside of Name Pro is a new set of hotkeys. For example, if you press Alt and Zero, you have hypershade layout, or if you, for example, press uh, Alt and uh, A, you have the attribute editor. If you press Alt and U, you have U to UV toolkit. So you press Alt and Three, you have uh, your UV layouts. Um, where you can find all the all the hotkeys, uh, you can find of course inside of the uh, of the of the guide you have inside of the of the zip. So uh, from here you can have access, for example, for to of to all list of the custom hotkey. The last things I want to show you is the ability to use uh, uh, this kind of uh, of scripts. I have had a lot of uh, custom scripts for make uh, uh, the usability of my a little more fast uh, as you can see here or you can use it or you can use by interfaces uh, uh, for example I want to show you these tools um, by using the interfaces you have here uh, so for example here I need to uh, create uh, a cube I want to use the auto bevel function alright now I want to create some kind of cube, so Z, meet the mouse button, go to Nord, create... Alright, now select the cube, select the, uh, the, the curve, Z, left mouse button, and now you have instance along the curve. This is a way to do that, but there is another one. For example, if you don't want to use uh, contextual marking menu, contextual workflow based on Manem Pro, you can switch back to one of the other workspace inside of, main, of, inside of Sandra Maya. From here you cannot more use this one. For example, Z is the classical undo hotkey. So uh, if I want to use this kind of script, the my custom script inside of, of the standard workspace, I need to do that. Create my elements, 
space for I have uh, my marquee menu, my hot key, uh, hot box, sorry. Uh, from here I want to create some kind of bevel, change a fraction of bevel and uh, change the segment, something like that, right? And from here what, what I need to do? What I need to do is create of course the curve, so then, uh, again create control vertex cube, alright. So select my cube, select my cube, uh, sorry, my cube, select my cube. From here now I need to copy the name of the command. So pause button, copy, paste as mail, and now you can have the same functionality. Of course you can add this to your custom shelf, you can do a lot of type of things. Uh, of course, I think so you can open up your... I never use the shelf, sorry for that. And uh, save this in shelf, I want to uh, in, in curve. Alright, now you have your your command here, so I want to create a new sheen, create the same cube, um, or, or uh, a sphere, create, oh sorry, create a sphere, create a uh, control vertex curve, Sorry, without a my main employer, really slow on the using of Maya, sorry. So, this one, another one, and now I can go back to here and run up my custom script. Alright, um, I think this is almost uh, everything. Uh, if you want to re-enable main name pro, you can select main pro workspace. From here you have access to all features I show uh, early. But if you want an install main name pro, you need to write source main 9 underscore uninstall and press enter. This uninstall main 9 pro. Right, if you want to install again, of course, you can do another time source main pro dot mail, git enter, and main pro is installed again. Alright, uh, I hope you find everything uh, useful and bye.